Sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Welcome back, everybody. 12.16 of the time right now. We're looking at 49 degrees in San Angelo to kick off our afternoon. 90% humidity, so we've got plenty of cloud cover here in the downtown area. And winds are a light breeze from the northeast at 14 miles an hour. And temperatures around the rest of the region here haven't really changed since this morning. I mean, we are still sitting mid-40s to the low 50s. Actually, have decreased a little bit in junction for today. And the humidity levels are going to be a bit higher as well. Again, 100% for El Dorado and Sonora. Otherwise, 80s and 90s everywhere else in the Concho Valley. Visibility is a little bit lower for those two areas with the higher humidity. Two miles an hour visibility for Sonora. Three for El Dorado. We got the lower level clouds kind of giving that misty feel. Otherwise, not too bad everywhere else. A lot of seven, eight, nine, ten miles visibility. Got Big Lake in Ozona at five miles right now. Around the rest of the region, this cold front has been taking its sweet time moving through, and we have got plenty of cooler temperatures sticking around with us. Got a lot of 40s and 50s on the back side of that front. Otherwise, we got 60s, 70s, a bit into the 80s as you head into the coastline and southern Texas. Right now, we continue to see a lot of scattered showers and storms going from Austin to the southeast of Dallas, heading into Houston right now. We still have some of those showers developing in the Concho Valley. It's actually, that has kind of pushed off a little bit further to the east. So the rest of us are going to continue seeing those lower level clouds for the rest of today. Could feel some of that misty condition coming through. And those winds will be fairly consistent from the northeast, 10 to 15 miles per hour. Our highs are not going to be changing too much more than what we had. Actually, high temperatures for Junction and Mason have already passed. That was earlier this morning. The rest of us could be seeing upper 40s to low 50s for highs. So we could maybe increase one or two degrees from what we have right now. Tonight's temperatures will be dropping to the low to mid 40s. We are going to have cloudy conditions sticking around. Winds also staying pretty steady from the northeast, calming down a bit, 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then coming in later tomorrow, we're going to see those winds shifting a bit, coming from the south up to 10 miles an hour. We're going to still have cloudy conditions getting through a Thursday, but we are going to increase our temperatures, maybe 2 or 3 degrees for high. Low to mid 50s can be expected. So we will be done pretty much with the showers from the Contra Valley later this evening. We'll still have those clouds sticking around and then clearing out as we get into the evening hours tomorrow. So we'll see a little bit more of a clearing as we head into Thursday night. But then Friday morning, more clouds to start off and then that'll clear by the afternoon hours. So we'll have a bit more sunshine to help warm us up for the end of this week here. Those cooler temperatures, like I said, they're sticking around. But we got this mass of warmer air. It's going to continue to make its way into our region as we head into the end of this week here and then we will start to see those 60s and 70s coming back as we get into the weekend into next week and daylight savings time is ending this sunday so just remember to set those clocks an hour back and give us an extra hour of sleep you're watching klst news at noon we'll be right back after this